Mr. Crispin here once again and welcome to my workshop. Now how did I overhaul my lathe? Well I've taken 500 hours and I've cut it down to 5 minutes and the following footage will answer the question. And the machine rolls in, once in position it looks like this, quite a bit of work required. Now here I am having taken lots of bits off telling the audience all about it. A view from the back looks like this and a view from the top looks like this. That is inside the headstock gearbox. Over on the bench all the bits have been taken off and are ready for inspection whilst on the machine I begin with two coats of red oxide primer which will be the base coat for all further painting. Following this two coats of Harrison blue grey machine enamel go on and I appear to be telling the audience all about that as well. Now here I am round the back cleaning out the coolant tank and once I've finished that looks like this ready for coolant. Now there's the machine painted all the other bits of the machine are now also in the same state so it turns to assembly and upon inspection I find a few bits here I am telling the audience about a few dings I have found, aided by my ding diagram. Now to address these dings I carry out a process of precision flat stoning and completing that I then turned to alcohol, some denatured alcohol for the bed and a glass of port for myself. Now with that done I could start putting the bits back together, the saddle was cleaned and reinstalled Upon this saddle all the further bits then are assembled and uh, here I'm just making sure everything slides nicely. In goes the gap, now this is a removable section of the bed that allows larger diameter to work, work pieces to be turned. In comes the apron, as you can see it has all the gears for the various feed mechanisms and this of course attaches down under the saddle. Now upon this section of the rebuild I found some rework was required. So with those bits ground I could then carry on with the installation. In go all the various gibs and in comes the apron. Now everything is sorted under there all put back together and the handles turn once again. Now for the cross slide. Cross slide assembly done, now time for the lead screw and hand wheel. Cross slide fully operational and I now turn my attention to the top slide, the assembly of which is very similar to what you have already seen, sliding ways, lead screw, hand wheel, lock nuts and grub screws etc. The digital readout cross slide scale is now shown just awaiting its cover and there's the longitudinal scale. To finish all that is required now is the tail stop and there it goes onto the machine to finish. Yep you guessed it I was fitting a light. I uh, got this out of a skip. The guard has also had some work. I've made two new quarter inch plexiglass panels. I fitted a, uh, a knob off a bathroom cupboard and I hereby declare this lathe operational. Again, 
So that was the cut down version. If you wish to see the full detail, have a look at the links in the description. Apart from that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you found this interesting and see you on the next video.